Hey, it's Ben here, and here in this tutorial, we're going to have a look at how we work with the Brett FX Banner Titles Plus plugin to create animated intros like this. Now, we're going to have a look at some of the different settings you've got, how we can bring logos into the Banner Titles Plus, and just generally change some of the settings. It'll give you a sense of how this plugin works and also the great control you've got over different elements within the Banner Titles Plus. Now, this plugin is available on FX Factory, so you can check it out for free and have a look at how it works within your projects before you go ahead and buy it. So first thing we're going to do is come up to our titles and generators up at the top left. And we're going to come down to the banner titles plus. Now you can see here we have a whole array of different banner titles that have been set up already. And we're going to work with one of these and then adapt it to include a logo and do some color changes, which will let you see how nice the control over these little animations are. So we're going to grab this college football animation and we will drop that down to the timeline. So you can see right from the get-go, we have this nice animation. We're going to have a look at a few of the settings, how we can modify those. So we'll keep our playhead somewhere in the middle of the banner, away from the animation at the beginning and end. You can see we can use the on-screen controller to move this around. We can also use the on-screen controller here to adjust the size of our banner. And then if we just position this somewhere close to the center, we'll come to the title inspector, and we can have a look at some of the settings that we've got here. So we've got the and a basic position settings. So we'll just type in a zero and a zero here. So this is locked back into the center. We can modify the size of it here as well, or with the on-screen controller doing the same thing. And then we have these options to modify whether we want the animation in or out, the animation speed, and a few other things as well, such as the wave speed. We can modify that too. So if we're gonna modify the, the type of this, then the type that we actually have on the banner is this first little type frame so we're going to drop in water polo in here and you can see the type is obviously coming off the edge there but we've got these nice controls here to modify the size a little bit we can also modify the position as well so we can move this to different spots in the banner and then we can also modify the the baseline so we can move this up and down as well and get that position just right in the banner we've got our options for our type here as well so again we can change this to any type that we want to use. Just make this a bit bigger with Franklin Gothic and then modify that center position again. So scrolling down here, we also have the color of the type here. We can select a color with the eyedropper here from our colors, or we can click on the box and select a color in our color box. So let's select this nice yellow and then continuing down, we have other controls for our banner as well. So we can modify the banner color. So let's click in here. Let's change this to a nice red and we'll flip this around. So instead of the stripe color being red, we'll have that as white. And then we're gonna scroll down a little further. We've got some options here as well for texture. So we can have a hatch screen, no texture. So it's nice and smooth or a half tone on there. Let's leave it as that. That looks quite nice for this particular example. And then we've got some options for the outline as well. So the outline of the text in the background and also the banner as well. So we can modify this nicely. We can also change the color of that as well. Let's drop that to a yellow too. And let's have the outline as seven. So I'm just gonna type that in there. So scrolling down again, we have the shadow for everything. So we can increase the shadow opacity just so we can see it there. And then we can add a bit more blur. It's going to give it that nice pop from the background. And we can also change the distance and angle of that shadow as well. But we'll keep that nice and close just so it's pulling that away from the background. Now, this is where it kind of starts to get a bit interesting. Um, we have this text and emoji option here as well. So although we don't see any emojis here, we can obviously type in an emoji. So holding control, command, and the spacebar, we can bring up our emojis panel. And so we have our frequently used emojis, or we can select other emojis from here too. So we can select any emoji, and then we can also search for emojis as well. So let's search for water polo. So let's grab this one, double click in there, and we are gonna get, if we select this, and then increase the size of this text. We're gonna get that nice and big. And it looks like the 
little bits of detail in that emoji aren't going to work with the outline. So if we didn't want the outline because of that, then we could drop that right down, take the outline off, and our emoji is working quite nicely there without that outline set up. So if we add our outline back, we'll just set this back to seven. We're going to scroll down and we will change this from text emoji to drop zone. And this is where we can add our logo in. So once we set this to drop zone, we can drop down to our drop zone here. We're going to come back up to our library at the top left. And here we've got our Kelowna Water Polo Club logo. So we'll kind of do a bit of selecting and reselecting. I'm going back down to my timeline here and then back down to that drop zone options. And then here, now that we've got them both selected, we can apply that to the clip. So straight away you can see we get that logo in the background there. So when we want to modify the alignment of the logo, we'll select our clip on the timeline again, make sure we've got it selected, scroll down. We have a position offset for that. So we've got the X and Y position. So we can increase that. We can pull that up to the top and even away from our banner there. And we can use the on-screen control to pull this back down. You can see quite quickly, we can end up really nicely customizing uh, the banner exactly as we want it. There's a few other uh, kind of options in here as well that we can modify. So we have the position, obviously we looked at that. We have the scale of the logo as well. So we can increase or decrease that. And then we also have the rotation of it as well. So if you need to rotate your logo, which we don't need to do here, then you can do that. I'll just use my little hooked arrow here to reset that. But basically a lot of nice level of control over the banner, the color of the banner. So if we come back up where we've got the, the banner color is red, for instance, we might click on this and then in our colors window, if we use the eyedropper, we're gonna select the water polo Kelowna orange and it's gonna match that nicely. So then from there, we're gonna have to change the color of our type here and we'll also change the font as well. Let's go for this Boomer Tantrum font. That's quite nice. And again, each font will have its own slightly different setting. So we'll then have to just kind of nudge that font to be in exactly the right spot. And actually for this one, I'm just gonna try the different textures that we've got for the banner. So I'm gonna just have a look at that hatch screen. That's looking quite nice there. And for the outline, I'm gonna click here and we're gonna change this to white. It's gonna give it a bit of a cleaner look and we'll just drop down the width of that to, to five. So again, nice kind of easy adjustments that we can make. And we also in the BrettFX Banners Plus have some other options as well. So down here we have some plus art animation. So in here we can drop these little titles down to our screen. We've got a badge, the main title, we've got some inner and outer text, and you can see some nice settings in here as well. So if we're on the same water polo theme here, then with this selected, we can go into edit text mode. So some of the different generators will have different options. Um, so now we can click in each of these and basically it's gonna highlight that text. So it's kind of removing it from the animation a bit so we can modify it a bit. And then we've got some nice options like editing the the top position so we can get that just in the right spot and then obviously we can go through our other text elements and jumping between the type panel and the generator options we can modify this as well so let's pop in an emoji here so we'll use my frequently used emojis I'm gonna increase the size of this and then whenever we have the text frame kind of visible there, we can always kind of move it in position there too. So we can just drop that down a little bit so it's in the right spot. So let's keep going through these quickly. And again, with this bottom text here, you can see we've got those options to get that text just in the right position so we can nudge that nicely. So let's come back in here, we'll turn off the text edits mode and we can see this animation in action. So as you can see here, some really nice smooth animations using the BrettFX Banner Titles Plus plugin, some really nice control and also 
really smart incorporation of some of the Mac's built-in type features. So things like the emojis and also really nice on-screen controllers that you can use to modify the location and scale of the different banners that you're animating on. Definitely worth checking out. And if you have any questions about the Banner Titles Plus plugin, then do leave a question or a comment below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.